Hello everyone, it's Nicole here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. This channel is all about house plans, plan shopping, plan care tips, and anything plant related. If you're looking for a channel like this, this is it. So make sure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Today we're going to do a very fun video which is a house plan tour. You're going to see my current collection and all the beauty and ugly. This video is filmed before my baby is here so when you're watching it right now, I'm already resting in bed during my maternity leave. Anyways, let's get started and we're going to start from this living room and move to the dining room, my planned room, and upstairs my master bedroom. And thank you to this video sponsor Skillshare and I will talk more about them later in the video. I have a very beautiful philodendron Brazil. I got it about one year ago. So on this side, there is a east facing window. So it got some pretty nice morning sunlight, but you can tell the sunlight probably not strong enough so some of the leaves they don't have very good variegation on the right side of my fireplace i have a big east facing windows i'm sorry for the inconsistent lighting the windows make it very hard so i have three plants here and here is the first one this is a haya hindu rope i put it on a macrame hanger I think it looks very nice. It grows quite a bit. I got it last summer at Walmart. And if we look down, I have my huge ZZ plant here. I got it at Lowe's last summer and it gave me so many new shoots. This plant looks a little bit small in front of the camera, but it's actually in a 12 inch pot and if you look at the stems they are very very thick and yes there are some spider webs here it's not spider mites they are just spider webs i didn't clean it well when i first took it home um, as you can see some leaves are kind of yellow this is something about the zz plants when the new shoot especially if the shoots if the stems are thin, like this one, very thin, it is very easy for the leaves to turn yellow. I also have a Monstera Adamsonia here. It is pretty tall plant, probably about three feet tall. Because I didn't provide very good care, so I lost a lot of bottom leaves. But as you can see each single leaf here they are actually quite big in summertime i plan to chop it right here just propagate it and put it back to the soil and i want a full lush plant and i have another plant hanging here the lighting is very bad and i apologize so i have a synthesis here the leaves are quite large. I love all the big leaves. I got this plant also about half a year ago and I put it on a macrame hanger. I'm just so excited to see the plant start trailing down. I think it will look very, very beautiful. Moving on to my dining room, this is my west facing windows. So I have some plants hanging out by the windows. I put some hanging plants and some very tall plants on the clothes rack. But the very first plant is this Pilea peperomioid. As you can see, it is about four feet to five feet away from the west facing windows, which is about one and a half meters away from the west facing windows. So it does not get a lot of good lighting. This one is my clothes rack. I also have a little table here. I put a couple of plants. Because of the lighting is not great, so I'm going to move this rack and I hope you guys can see better. <laughs> I have four hanging plants here. These two are string of turtles, peperomia ruby cascade, 
and this one is the zipper blue. I got all of them from big box stores. All right, so these are string of turtles. As you can see, the patterns look a little bit different. This one, it looks more like a turtle, but this one, the pattern is not as clear as this one, but it's lighter color and more silvery. So I posted my string of turtle find video about a month ago and people comment that usually the new growth has more clear pattern and the older the plant or the more mature the plant is, the pattern is not as clear as it's supposed to be. Um, another way to keep the pattern to look more clear and crisp is place it by the windows. But this is my west facing window. So I think I provide a good amount of light. So this plant had been flowering for more than a month. So I decided to trim off all of the flowers. And now it finally has some new growth. Look at these baby turtles, they're so cute. This is my Peperomia Ruby Cascade. Also started to drill. I got it not long ago from Home Depot for $12.98. And this one I got the Zebra Blue from Walmart. I believe it's $18 last summer. Also trailing pretty long. And of course I gotta talk about the plants on the bottom because they are absolutely beautiful. So it's kind of messy here because <laughs> they're all growing with each other, along with each other. So this is my horse head philodendron. As you can see, the stem already looks very, very woody. So it's about uh, four feet tall. I propagated a few times so the leaves does not look as big as it's supposed to be. I also got this very mature cutting. It's a Singoleum cutting. Very beautiful. Let me show you. It is so pretty. I like the shape of the leaves. Also very fast grower and is about as tall as my horse head philodendron. And right next to it, I have a very beautiful, variegated, gosh, what's your name? All right, <laughs> let's take a look. Okay, Ficus triangularis variegata. I got it last year, also from Big Box Store. I think this one is from Lowe's. During winter time, it produced some figs and they are variegated, very cute, but they all drops because it's already spring now. I love the variegation, but this one is a slow grower. And I have two Syngonium Elbow Variegata. Look at the leaves, they are so cute. This is also a fast grower. I did a giveaway last year and I do plan to do another giveaway, but I've been waiting for the weather to get warmer. So the shipping is easier and also less stressful to the plants. I propagated this plant for so many times and uh, one of my favorite variegated plants. So cute. Right next to the clothes rack, I have two plants sitting on a little table. This one is my Neon Patho. It is a slow grower. <laughs> and right next to it, I have a Philodendron Micans. It is still pretty tiny in a six inch pot, but I love the color. I love how red it is on the back. Let's move on to my plant room. So I put most of my plants here because as you can see, um, there are one, two, three, four, four windows in this room in total. I also moved my office from my office room <laughs> to this room because after I found out I got pregnant, I want to make room for the baby. The baby needs a room. 
Let's take a look at my statement piece in this room. This is my 10 feet tall bird of paradise. It is huge. As you can see, the ceiling has that triangle shape and one of the leaf already touching the edge of the ceiling and this leaf is about one foot away from the top of the ceiling so i don't know i feel like it's going to touch the ceiling this summer but i don't want to get rid of it but i don't have enough room for it so i guess i will have to make a decision so behind the bird of paradise i have a very classic golden puff though i don't have room to pull it so that's why i put that at that corner and this is the plant stand that my mom my dad and i we all made together so and right next to my bird of paradise i have some plants here so <laughs> raven zz Raven ZZ, another Raven ZZ. I know this is ridiculous, but I am obsessed with Raven ZZ. They are just so pretty. And right next to the Raven ZZ, I have a variegated lemon plant. Look at the leaves, so cute. And there are some new leaf, new growth coming out. Come on, focus. Focus, focus. Can you guys see? I'm sorry, it's so hard to focus. So the leaves are very, very beautiful. I will put it outdoor once the temperature goes up a little bit more. Hopefully it can produce some nice variegated lemon or pink lemon for me. And then I have my Hoya obovada is trailing down. Some of the leaves are darker, some of the leaves are pretty light. The closer it is to the windows, the lighter the color will be. And I have not seen the flowers yet, so hopefully it's going to happen this year. And here, this is my, oh my gosh, one of the Chinsgentia plant. I watered it yesterday, so wow, it's quite heavy. I love how pink the leaves are, but this one is such a fast grower. You have to repot it pretty much every season. I'm not exaggerating. Otherwise, look at the leaves. It looks so dry. It's super root bound. And I have my African violet here. It is currently flowering. So beautiful. I have a couple of begonias here. This is Begonia maculata YDI. I got it for about two years now and it is quite tall. Also pretty laggy. I need to propagate hopefully in next month or so. And I have another Begonia angel wing. So pretty, the back of the leaves. I love it. And this one is, I'm sorry for the bad lighting again, Plumeria. Right next to the Plumeria, I have a few plants here and please ignore the background. We got tornado yesterday, so it's kind of messy out there and I really need to work on my deck. Anyways, I have, this is Philodendron Civil Sore. There are two plants in one pot and I just put a, a stake here. And this is my Hoya Carii. And this one is Philodendron Painted Lady. Next, I have my Syngonium Chia Pansy. The color is pretty light. I think it's because too much light, but it's growing well and I probably propagated in summer. And as you can see, there is some sun damage. And right next to it, I have a curly lipstick plant. It's currently flowering. It's so pretty. And it's trailing pretty long. If you're looking for a Hindu rope, but you couldn't find it, I think this is a good alternative. 
it is curly and lipstick plants also very very easy it is a fast grower so i like it a lot and i also have two hoyas i got this one actually from cuttings it's about two years now and look at this new leaf it is so cute this is the hoya crimson queen and this is the hoya Pupacalus. <laughs> Let me grab you. Yeah, it's beautiful. I just put them on a little chalice. And there are two plants, two hanging plants here. The lighting is so bad, so let me take it down. I do need to give it an ice drink. This is my Hoya Crimson Princess. I got it from a big box store for 15 or 18 bucks. It's doing good. And this one is variegated Hoya White Addii. I love the pink leaves. It's just so cute. Look at how pink this one is. And it's trailing pretty long. I might whip pot it, I might not, because Hoya loves to be root bound and I do want it to produce some peduncles for me and I would like to see some flowers. And now we are going to look at the plants on this plant stand. Let's take a look at them from the bottom to the top. This shelf is my propagation shelf. I have some pink Chanscantia here. And this one is kind of dead. This is the philodendron brandy. I didn't provide consistent watering, so whenever I water it, it's already very, very dry. And then this is my Monstera Citabicana. And I'm propagating some Ciba Blue. And I accidentally broke my snake plant so i'm propagating it in water and this is my very sad watermelon peperomia it looks so sad right now because i did not provide consistent watering sometimes when i water it i just give it too much water and i forgot to dump the water from the saucer so it's recovering i don't know if it will make it but we'll see and then a couple Begonia maculata YDI is growing pretty well. And my neon patho, another Begonia maculata YDI. And this one is Philodendron micans. It looks very dead. And I plan to throw away, but I want to wait till summer. If it grows back, then I will keep it. If not, I will throw away. Here is my second shelf. I got another pink Chanscantia here, or Chanscantia rainbow. And I got my Syngonium elbow variegata here. And this is my Jewel Orchid lightning bolt. It's not doing that well. I think it's because of the low humidity in my house and the cold temperature. And I have another Monstera Cidipicana plant. This leaf is huge. It's pretty. And this is my variegated string of pearls. It's doing pretty well. And my Christmas or Thanksgiving cactus. Do you guys see the new leaves? It's pink. So cute. And I got another Begonia Maculata YDI. This is the third shelf. I have another Hoya Crimson Princess. Look at it. It is so full, so lush. And I know I already have two or one. I should not have that many duplicates, but I just like it so much. And I have a regular string of pearls. There are some new growth. I also propagated from cuttings. Can you guys see those little string of pearls? They're all new growth. And this one is my 
pride and joy. This is Peperomia Ikana. I love how velvety and how soft the leaves are. This one is huge. It is quite big. And there is another Peperomia right next to it. This is my Peperomia Elongata. It started from cutting, just one leaf cutting, and look at how many new leaves that it already produced. And let's move on to the fourth shelf. Another Peperomia, this is Peperomia Raindrop. Also start this one from a one leaf or two leaves cutting. As you can see, my shelf is not tall enough now, and I do need to find another place for it. And I have a fiddle leaf fig. I don't have much luck with fiddle leaf fig. So this is my second trial and hopefully it will survive. If it does not survive, I'm not going to try it again. And especially I give it the best windows. This is my south facing window. So you cannot complain that you don't have enough sunlight. And then... This is my Syngonium Elbow Variegata Cuttings. Can you see the new roots? So I put it in a jar. By the way, this pasta sauce is the best. And then the last shelf, this is the top shelf. I put some very big plants here. These three are all snake plants, just different variety. I know it's very hard to see. This is my moonshine. And this is, I don't know the name of the variety. <laughs> this is the fernwood. Is it fernwood or is it starfish? Starfish? I don't know. Let me know in the comment below. I'm a little bit confused. And this is my another Syndapsis. This is Syndapsis pictus. When I first got it, it was in a four inch pot. It didn't start to trail at all. But look at how long it's trailing right now. This is crazy. It's at least six feet long. I probably need to propagate it in summer and then share some cuttings with friends and family. This is my master bedroom and I only have one plant here. And this one is my, oops, so dark. Come on, focus, please. Okay, this one is my rubber plant. I got this plant about two years ago. When I first got it, it was this short and now it's way bigger now. And yes, I have my suitcase and backpack here. They are my hospital bag, so it has a lot of baby stuff, and I'm so excited for it. Let me show you my rubber plant. I love how big the foliage is, but as you can see, because of the dark foliage or because of my laziness, there are so much dust. I should have spent some time to wipe off the dust to give it a better look. That's all the plants that I have. Do you have more? Do you have less? Let me know in the comment down below and tell me what is your current favorite plant. And last but not least, I would like to thank you today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people to explore new skills. There are so many topics and classes that you can choose from, such as productivity, web development, fine arts, etc. One of the classes that I learned a lot from is Productivity for Creatives. Build a system that brings out your best by Thomas Frank. He is a YouTuber, an author, and an entrepreneur. Through many years working as an independent creator, he's learned that lots of techniques and methods that works for handling regular tasks can also be very helpful in creativity. After taking his class, I have a better understanding of my own creativity and the ways I can nurture and expand it through the simple magic of productivity. 
Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning that there are no ads and they are always launching new premium classes so that you can stay focused and explore wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. But now, the first 1,000 of my subscribers, click the link in the description box, will get a free trial of premium membership so that you can explore your creativity. And I will put the link in the description box. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the bell notification so that you will get notified whenever I have new videos up. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook because I post stories there all the time. And sometimes I will post some of my personal life there. <laughs> all right, my name is Nicole. I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.